Allah, uh, the Prophet one day went home and he found he came his servant, his Anas, and he was crying. He was crying, crying, crying. And the Prophet ﷺ said, why are you crying? He said, oh Prophet, you know how my space and our space is far away and you will be far up and we love you in the sake of, uh, we love you. And I want to be with you. Sayyidina Unai Anas is talking to the Prophet ﷺ. We love the Prophet and you want to be with him. And the Prophet told him this glad tidings. What did he tell him? If you love someone, you will be with him. And really, when you hear this, everyone will tell me now, I love the Prophet. Does anyone dispute that? No. All of us love the Prophet. But the question to every one of you, do you know the Prophet? To me even, do I know the Prophet? To every one of us. And if you know someone, I'll tell you an example again, another story. If you love your wife, and you're going home now, what are you going to do? Some flowers, chocolate, right? You love her. You do that, right? Hopefully. Okay? You love her, inshallah, you give her to that, inshallah. Now, if you love the Prophet, why are you going to bring him? You know what his attitude, what did he say? What does he say after, after prayer? How long did he live? What's your mother's name? Mother's, his wife's. Do you know them? Do you know anything about what he's doing with them? That's the, that's the way that when we meet him, you know him, right? Do you know him? The question to every one of us. And I, I, I swear I do that in the Islamic school. I teach there. I tell them, give talk to about the Prophet for two minutes. I'll give you $20. Alhamdulillah, the $20 is in my pocket most of the time. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Which really surprising that... Even I said it in a khutbah once, and uh, I told the story that someone one came to me and he said, I have it here in the phone, he used ChatGPT and he got the story about the Prophet. He said, okay, good, perfect. Give me the phone, talk about the Prophet. And he said, I don't know anything about the Prophet. That's the problem. We need to know more about him. My suggestion, and now our homework as adults here, is try to learn, one, try to learn something about the Prophet. Two, try to talk to your kids about the Prophet. Who is he? How old is he? What's the name of the kids? His kids? Very important. Three, try as, for example, to take one of our mothers every time, now and then, and talk about her with your kids, with yourself. Try to learn, right? Four, try to understand what the Prophet is doing. I'm doing that because I'm following the Prophet. Always keep the Prophet in your head. I'm saying this hadith because the Prophet said this hadith. I'm praying Sunnah now, inshallah, we pray Sunnah al Asha because the Prophet said so. Always keep the Prophet in your head. So, when we meet him, what are you going to tell him? I did this for because I'm following your footsteps. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا أُسْوَةٌ Even when I made a mistake in Surah Al-Waqa'a, even by the horizon, still, I heard many people responding because the Prophet said, said, asked us to do that. Even if the Imam doing a mistake, you still correct him. That's how beautiful if you keep on knowing the Prophet ﷺ. Our homework, learn more about the Prophet so that when you go to him, imagine, I love the Prophet, we will be with him in Jannah for those. This is the best thing you can do.